Greetings, recruits. Today we're going to cover the planetary scan jobs for the Mida Federation. What you got to do is select a mission from the mission board from the Federation because no one else is worth taking missions for. Then you have to go in and set a destination to the system that the scan job is for, as you can see our pilot doing here. Once the course is laid in, you will need to undock and fly out to your destination. Be care to watch out for belugas, orcas, dolphins, or any other ass hattery that may be happening in the station when you dock. And if there are other commanders around, make sure to obey all speed limits at all times. We have the image of the Federation to uphold here, cadets. Do not make us look like a bunch of ass hats. As you can see here, that is Nanomam 1, home of Zachary Hudson, our born leader. Most videos will be taken from the home station. The same station you find, gentlemen, are currently stationed at. Make sure to get out of mass lock range and engage your frame shift drive. Then comes the arduous task of actually flying to your destination. I recommend a cup of coffee or just good old fashioned whisk. For scared reasons, our training instructor here is flying a Python that is equipped with an advanced discovery scanner. If you do not have an advanced discovery scanner, you can fly to the nav beacon, drop out a warp, scan it, and it will tell you the next destination. However, our commander is going to pulse his advanced discovery scanner. As you can see here. You will get a notification saying where your target is located. Our commander has not been to this system before, so everything is unexplored. But if you scroll through, you will see the mission icon and you will be able to lock your destination. You can also check the message board there to see the name so you can look for it, if that does help you. Normally these are just simple reconnaissance missions, but for this one, this is going to be a hostile enemy environment. What you do is, you fly towards the planet until you see the search zone. Then you select it. Then you fly towards it. You use standard entry procedures to fly towards the moon or planet that the outpost may be on. As you get close to each individual location, it'll say search zone. You keep flying towards the search zones until you actually see the outpost. It's pretty simple. A lot of recruits fuck it up and crash into the planet's surface. Please do not be one of those recruits. Flying down to and landing on a planet should be a simple task for any pilot, let alone a mighty pilot of the Federation. We will not go into basic details on how to land on a goddamn planet. If you do not know how to land on a goddamn planet, you should not be here. You should lock your pansy ass out right now. What we are going to do is we are going to let the footage roll to show you what you have to do to actually find the outpost.
And here we have found the outpost. Now, outside the outpost, you have to find a suitable landing position. It can be a bitch to find a suitable landing position on certain planets. However, one thing to take into account is, once you do land, your SRV will want to drive away and point towards the aft of your ship. Keep that in mind when landing. As you can see, our commander is about to touch down. Once you touch down, you deploy your SRV, known as the Surface Reconnaissance Vehicle. As we said in the past, it will go towards the aft of the ship. We recommend that you drive the SRV with drive assist off under most circumstances. It'll make it feel like a car on a normal planet. You'll be able to coast and it'll keep you from spinning around. But please don't drive over the landing gear of your ship like this commander just did. If you need to stop completely to scan or return to your ship, you can turn drive assist back on and center your throttle. That works nicely. While you look on the radar, you'll see this red square. That is the zone. If you cross, you will be shot at by the enemy outpost. Normally, you would implement your turret to scan the data point. However, this commander is too far away, and will have to find a closer location to scan from. It should be noted that once you scan a hostile outpost, it will become aggressive towards you, as you will see here shortly. The SRV, or Surface Reconnaissance Vehicle, is not very well armored. That is why we are skirting the perimeter. It does die fairly easily. You switch to your turret within range, which we are, and you scan the data point with your turret. As you can see, once the scan is complete, we will be fired on by this outpost's turrets. At this point, you should hightail it out of there like a motherfucker and run. Get back to your ship. Your ship is much more capable of withstanding small turret fire than an SRV. There is also the chance that enemy ships may be called in to help. From the time you scan the data point, there will be a delayed set of emails that comes in to you. It'll be from your mission giver. The only one we are really cared about is the one saying it is done and to return back to the station you came from. Everything else is arbitrary. However, you should keep track and make sure you are getting messages because if you are not, the mission may be glitched. And as you can see, the second we got on our ship, the anti-ship guns started firing upon us. You could run here, but being a mighty pilot of the Federation, our good training commander decided to blow the living shit out of this turret. With his mighty python. Which is not a Federation ship, but it does well enough for these training purposes. Once you get to go ahead and leave, this is the time to leave orbit. Again, if you do not know how to leave orbit in a ship, please see me after the class and I will whoop your ass right back to wet nursing school where you belong, soldier. But you fly back, turn in the mission, you are both richer and advance the cause of the Mida Federation. This concludes the planetary scan job training video. Fly safe out there, commanders.